Whether you look forward to it for the refund check or dread it for the paperwork or if you owe, tax filing season starts today. And this year could be a little different for a lot of families. NBC 10's Lauren Make is here now with what we all need to know. And Lauren, there is help available. Yeah, Jacqueline, there absolutely is. And we visited one of the places today that is offering that help. And whether you go for assistance or you do it yourself, there are some things you're going to need to keep in mind and paperwork that you will need to have in order to make sure you get the money you're entitled to. Set up and ready to help. The campaign for working families today opening sites to help people file their taxes in a year that could be more challenging than others. Last year we filed 26,000. Mary Arthur is president and CEO of the Campaign for Working Families, which is offering free help as families wade through questions. We just want people to know we are here for them. We, we will ask that they have patience. One of the things that makes this year different, the government sent many families money in the form of a stimulus check and then monthly payments from the child tax credit. The IRS is sending you letters for both of them. Hang on to them. You'll need them to file. We've serviced so far about 25 people here at this location this morning. And um, some of them did come in with the child tax credit letter, but not the stimulus letter. So I think that's going to be the challenge of making sure when they get those letters from IRS, they open them and bring them with them. For the child tax credit, Jamie Hopkins from Carson Group says the IRS needs to be able to match up what it sent you with what you have on your tax form. That doesn't mean you're getting taxed on this. You're just reporting it so they can match it up. You'll also need to file a tax return to get the rest of the child tax credit money you're owed. Only half should have been sent out. If you got payments in error, there is a possibility you could have to pay it back, reducing your refund. But Hopkins does not expect that with stimulus payments. Another thing to keep in mind, speak up if you're using cryptocurrency. In general, he says it's better to file early, but this year there may be some people, those in New Jersey or those making three to $400,000 or more, who may want to wait in case Congress changes the provision that caps how much of your state and local taxes you can deduct. If they change that salt cap deduction going back to last year, which is still in conversations, that could mess up your, you know, you're going to have to refile. It could be a big mess. So we are telling some people to hold on for right now. When you do file, Hopkins and Arthur both recommend doing it electronically. If it's a paper return, it's going to take much longer, unfortunately. Now, the Campaign for Working Families has sites in Philadelphia, Montgomery County, and South Jersey, and they do ask that you make an appointment. Well, coming up in our 5 o'clock hour, what happens after you file your tax return and how IRS employees are faring this time of year? I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News.